Hi there guys and welcome back to another episode of The Beard Necessities here on The Facial Fuzz. This is the series where I try and cut through all that misinformation out there on the internet and bring you the most up-to-date information regarding beards. Uh, so please sit back and watch this week's episode which is going to be all about whether smoking is good for your beard. Yo, I done six shows in a row, so my voice is hurting. Fans wanna hear what you're in person. Boy, oi. She want a man from Brom, but she sell with a boy from Burton. I still see feds on the block, still see the boy them lurking. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is nicotine. Uh, now this can obviously be found in uh, cigarettes, it can be found in shisha, hookah. You might even be using patches and gum if you're trying to quit, and if you are, more power to you. I also smoke, I know how difficult that is. What we want to focus on to begin with is the study that I've put in the description that shows that Appropriate levels of nicotine actually increase your dihydrotestosterone levels by about 14%. They actually increase um, pretty much all of your androgens, but I'm going to focus on that one in particular. Now, whilst that's good, and we're like we're saying yes, you know, raising our DHT, don't go out there and start smoking 20 cigarettes right away. Bear, bear, bear with, bear with. That 14% raise is not probably going to be particularly significant. And we also need to consider those of my followers that are using minoxidil, like I am, to grow a bit. And this kind of even is relevant to the guys that aren't. Um, so if you're using minoxidil, it's a vasodilator, which means it opens your blood vessels, increases your blood flow, and in particular to those follicles. Now, nicotine, on the other hand, it constricts your blood vessels. So it's not necessarily going to help you whatsoever. It's going to have the opposite effect to what you're trying to do with the minoxidil. So it's going to bring less blood flow and therefore less DHT to actually bind to those androgen receptors not really something that you're going to get much benefit out of it's kind of like balancing it is it really worth it me personally i don't think so personally i think if you are looking to raise your dihydrotestosterone levels there is a really really beneficial way of doing that exercise lifting heavy weights and you might also want to supplement with creatine which is shown to significantly increase uh, dihydrotestosterone so that's more of a positive way of doing that but i wonder is there something else that people smoke quite regularly that might also have an impact on our beards? You guessed it, it's weed. Um, now I don't smoke weed personally, uh, we're going to look at whether it's good for your beard or not. So, uh, is it good for your beard? Short answer, no. What it actually does is it uh, inhibits dihydrotestosterone binding to your androgen receptors. Uh, for those of you that have watched my other videos will know that DHT is the androgen hormone that is primarily responsible for our male characteristics, one of which is our facial hair growth. So we don't really want to do anything that is going to inhibit it. Obviously, we do need to bear in mind that it's only uh, obviously a logical assumption. Obviously, if something blocks DHT and you need DHT for something, you don't really want to block it. But again, it's just our interpretation of the science. So it's up to you what you do. But I would say that based on the kind of scientific logic, it's not gonna be good for your beard. Okay guys, so next time that somebody um, tells you that smoking weed is good for your beard, <clears throat> Spanish beard, uh, then you might want to send them the link to this video so they can sit back, inhale all of that good information, put it in their pipe and smoke it. Maybe not that last part. So guys, thanks very much for watching this video. Shame it's not the news you were probably hoping for, um, but at least now you know, uh, and you can choose to do whatever you wish to with that information. The studies that I talk about are all linked in the description. If you did like the video, please do hit the like button. If you want to ask me any questions, if you've got any queries, any suggestions, then please do drop a comment in the comments box below. And also, if you want to keep up to date with more videos like these, then please do hit that subscribe button. I've been Adam at The Facial Fuzz, and I will see you again next time. I got a blue tick, but I got one on the top that gave me. I don't even know what's real.